Okay, um, this is the next part of how to speedrun the Wind Waker. We just completed uh, Dragon Roost Cavern, so we're going to move on to the next part of the speedrun. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get storage, and we're going to super swim to... Um, we're going to super swim to Bird's Peak Rock. And Bird's Peak Rock is here. Or here. I think it's here. I don't know. One of these two. <laughs> We'll see. I think it is this one. I'm pretty sure it is actually this one. So, um, what, but what we're going to do now, I just forgot. Before we get storage, we're going to change the wind sound. Alright, now we're going to get storage. Alright. So talk to Coral. And then we're gonna act, uh, activate his text and then just uh, immediately just close it. We don't need it. Alright. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna pull out the Wind Waker. Um, uh, to Super Swim to um, Bird's Peak Rock. So now that we're at Bird's Peak Rock, we're going to come up here, and there's this little weird trick that you can do. It's called the Bait Bag Skip. Um, so, um, it doesn't really require, like, perfect timing, but it's kind of dumb. So, you're going to want to stand, like, around this dark area here, and pull out the grappling hook, and aim about right here, and then throw the grappling hook. And for this, just don't touch anything on the control stick, just wait for Link to uh, kind of clip into the wall. Uh, and then you can release, uh, like, with A. It doesn't really require anything else, just let go with A when he's like halfway to the wall, if I could do it. Okay. One more time, hopefully it'll work. Alright, so yeah, that basically just saves a whole bunch of time by getting the bait bag and doing hitting the switches up on those mountains up there so yeah so just jump down here um you can get a little bit of rupees in here which they're not really required but uh they do help i guess a little bit so you can go ahead and get them if you want and for this, you're going to want to just play the Wind's Requiem. This is the first Triforce chart that you can get, or that you do get in the run. So we're going to go ahead and get that now. And don't roll past it. Okay. But yeah, now that we've got it, we're going, we're going to save work from here. So that's the Triforce chart. That's what we're going to need later in the run to complete the game. Oops. Alright, so just go ahead and save warp. There's kind of a weird um, slash dumb storage here, so I'm going to try to walk through, walk you through it as best as possible. Um, okay, there's this tree here. Um, there's three trees right here, but how you can get storage on this island, it's like, 
on the only storage you can get on this island. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the only storage you can get on this island. Without oh wait, well we I mean we have bombs, so I could try something. Okay, one second. Let me try this. Alright, so I'm gonna try to grapple this, climb to the top, and then just like bomb Wind Waker Dive on this, if it'll let me uh, jump slash. Oh, I might be able to do this. If I don't fall. That kind of might not be worth it, but yeah, I'm just gonna teach you this way. Alright. So basically line yourself up with this white line here, uh, like the left side of Link's body with the white line on the wall. Uh, press forward, and then the timing for this is kind of weird. You're going to want to delay a little bit, not so much, but a little bit. So uh, go ahead and climb up, and you have to hold forward and then press the Wind Waker button so that way Link falls. So press forward and press the Wind Waker button. So that was storage one. And we need two storages. Since there's a cutscene uh, over there at that island, which is uh, Forbidden Woods, or Forest Haven, excuse me. So talk to Coral. We need a sex. Alright. So you can save a text box or two by just backflipping or side hopping with the Wind Waker, uh, or and then pulling the Wind Waker out. So, yeah. Um, and then again, just pull the Wind Waker uh, after you push push against the tree. And that was storage number two. So now that you have storage number two, we can go ahead and activate camera lock and jump in the water. And then we're just going to aim towards this island and then just shoot towards the island. It's only one quadrant or like half a quadrant, so you don't need much speed. Um, so I would, I would go at like this speed right here. Just make sure you get like a good angle and then go towards the island. Alright, and that's it. So now that was the cutscene that I just loaded, and then we're gonna super swim in between Beetle and the island. Like that. And we're gonna grab this wall right here, and pull out the Wind Waker to cancel camera lock. So now, there's two things, or a couple things you can do here. Um, you can basically run up against, or run to Beetle. Uh, there's the back of the boat that you can grab on, and then Wind Waker dive off of. Or you can do like this little weird bomb roll uh, or bomb clip here, but you don't want to do that. It uh, especially if you're not decent at bomb clips. So I would just focus on this. Even experienced runners still do this way. So I'm gonna try to walk you through how to do this. Okay. As you can see, I just got it there though. So. Alright, so what you're going to look for is you're going to look for this triangle piece, or like the very tip of this corner right here, line Link's body up with it, aim towards the back of the boat, and when uh, Beetle's boat tips downwards, that's when you're going to want to jump at the boat. And then hold towards the direction of the boat, and then Wind Waker dive. Once you do that, um, wait for the first beep on the, uh, the Wind Waker notes and then cancel the Wind Waker, and then swim towards this loading zone here. You can see on the mini-map, it's like a little circle that you're going to aim for. And this is... Uh, this is now Forest Haven, so I'm going to go ahead and stop off here, guys. Um, I'm gonna, I do appreciate you guys watching, though, so I'm going to stop here and then continue uh, at the next part when... Uh, or, I guess... Till the next time. So, yes, again, thank you for watching.